Greetings and good day, YouTube and Twitch highlight watchers. How are you doing today? I myself am pretty excited to continue where we last left off in Minecraft, our kingdom build. Uh, today, we're just going to be working on Dock, Dock City primarily. Uh, if you don't know what Dock City is, well, you're going to get a good look at it. Also, I did a little bit of off stream stuff, but the main thing I did was basically just that. Now, you might be wondering what that is. Well, I'll drop down in a little bit and uh, show you. I just want to kind of take like take in the city and see what exactly I have to do for certain things. I know I need to flatten a lot of this, but what I'm primarily going to do today is I'm pretty much going to make this into... Like, that's technically not a dock. All right? That's going to be a floating, a floating farm. It is going to be a sugarcane farm with, I think, 200 total units of sugarcane. The city itself is going to be over here, but I need it to be like a dock that goes out to there and maybe to there. Like, I need a dock to surround that. Because I just need the... I just need enough room for a boat to go through. Like, we don't need a large thing for very large ships or anything like that because they don't exist in Minecraft. I wonder if they ever at some point in the future make it to where you can have, like, a ship. You know what I mean? Like, you have no how you can go across and the ocean find some of those crashed vessels that lead to buried treasure and stuff like that. Very curious if in, uh... They'll ever add something like that. Instead of just these. I doubt it. Unless you put mods. You can probably mod it in. So, I'm trying to look and figure out what exactly I did off stream. I don't want to spend the whole time organizing. Yeah. A lot of this crap. Bought a couple of pickaxes, I think. Uh, could go and get a shovel or two. But I'm not really worried about that right now. What I'm primarily worried about is making Dock City proper. Uh, or at least getting started on it. Because we need to put dirt down over here. This is going to go away. This dock is being deleted. I kind of want to leave this like this a little bit. Oh, that's what it was. The idea was I think I'm going to make Dock City, the wood, out of birch. At least the housing's going to be out of birch. The reason that the housing's going to be out of birch is because I need to take down most of these trees to make the city proper. Right? So let's start doing this. But yeah, off stream, I think I did a little bit of... Oh, that's birch. That's good. We'll need that. 
Yeah, I did a little bit of fishing. I think I got a couple of Neptunium things. I might have to get rid of this stuff and make it more dock like. I'll worry about that later though. But yeah, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea of using birch as the uh, housing wood for Dock City. Because, well, it might not matter whether or not people will be able to know what was originally here wood-wise. I kind of like the idea of, like, using the resources that are found around this location as a means to, like, do the housing. Probably need to put wood down. I'm mean, not wood down, but uh, dirt down for here. I, I kind of want to make it look like it's not too like it's not the most of natural things. Clean this up a little bit. Put some more stone down there, maybe. Ow. Oh shit. I'm gonna have to uh get some some beef, I think. Which means we're gonna have to go deal with some cow. I don't know, I'm really trying to think about how exactly I want to do this, right? As I do this. Because I don't know if I want to flatten all of this. I might want to try and make it like... Like a house up here or something like that. Something weird. Then again, at the same time, I don't know if I really want to actually do that. This, I can't wait till it gets fully grown. And we can, like, start making a ridiculous amount of sugar cane now. That needs to go away. Need to put scaffolding down. I don't have the scaffolding. Right. Ow. Oh, no. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't want any floating wood. Or, uh, dirt. Or anything, really.
Making sure I wasn't muted there for a moment. I don't know. I don't really want to use Birch for the, uh... Oh, fuck off. I don't really want to use Birch. As the wood. You know what I mean? Damn, we are stacked, stacked on birch right now. We're not even, we're not even there yet. You know what I mean? Like, holy shite. Holy shite, man.
trying to get a stack of this stripped birch. I could make the stripe the the stripped birch. God, that would be so so much wasted wood though. I'd have to see how it would look as a dock. Cause I kinda want the there to be boards for the dock, you know what I mean? Let's not fall into the lava. Uh, might not need to be have, have gone that far back for the birch. We do need to take out these two trees at least. Yeah, I don't want to go too far. All right. I'll have to fill this in or cut it down. Maybe cut it down. Maybe fill it in. Probably fill it in. Push this back a little bit. Fill that in. Uh, flatten this a bit. Have housing over in that area, that area. And maybe take this whole island away. And make this area be like the dock. Yeah, make that and that the dock. And this could be like a part of the dock as well. I kind of like the idea that this is part of the dock. Or this is at least part of the floating uh, thing. I need to go up and get the food. I know where there is some. Maybe organize a bit as well. Could do dark oak. Yeah, I'm going to do dark oak for the dock because I'm thinking about it and I'm not going to have nearly as much dark oak over here eventually, right? Like a lot of this dark oak is going to be taken down and the housing is going to go from this apartment complex to a, this is going to get filled in, right? Or it's going to become a mine type thing and this will get filled in as well. I need to cut this tree and the housing will be like 
there'll be housing over here and over there and a little bit in between and all of that for the time being let me skip this hilariously enough go all the way down go get my fish fillets go into the apartment complex or not the apartment complex the warehouse and go from there What the fuck? I can make the farm much larger now. I gotta fix the damn sheep pen. Let me make sure the rest are fine. Weird. Very weird.
All right, we need pigs now too. I'm gonna have to. I'm probably gonna put the pigs here, move the bunnies back. The chickens are good there. I want all those to be there, and I want like the animals that are newer that you could pen to go there. Hey, greetings and good day, logical beast. How are you today? Yeah, I kind of felt like playing this uh, an hour uh, at the start of stream for an hour. I was working on the derpy mode. And now I'm just like getting some shit done on uh, the Minecraft thing. I'm going to be playing this tomorrow as well to start the stream with. In about an hour or two from now, I am going to be switching back to the cycle though. Or not switching back to, but switching to the cycle. But yeah, greetings and good day, Logical Beast. How are you today? I think I've already said that, but... Where's the wheat? The wheat. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do I do like chilling in this one. This one I just have a, a damn fine time with. Wait, what works? I'm confused. What are we talking about? My brain is just like, what? Oh. Well, I can't see that. What do you expect me to just fucking magically know that the chat's not working or it is working? I got someone to gotta say to something that is not working or it is working or that's something I won't know about that something. It wasn't showing, but bizarrely... Huh. Weird. Why the hell are you over there, Iron Ingot? You need to go over here. Please tell me your shovels are cheap. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Who sells the damn shovels? You I need to do something with because you're no-name. No, your armor. Uh, your weapons, I think? If you have the eye patch, are you weapons? Where's... Jane. There's Jane. Yeah, Jane... Weapons. Where's John? John. There's John. Okay, good. I actually have a reason I need a shovel, though. I'm not just doing that to summon the shovel knight. 
Although it is quite impressive. It is quite impressive. True, true. All right. I mean, you don't have to call yourself a genie to get... I cannot keep a straight face for this. Okay. I'm gonna try. This is not gonna work. This joke... You don't need to call yourself a genie to get, uh, to get me to rub your shovel. <laughs> I, I fucking... Oh! I actually managed to keep a straight face up until the end. <laughs> oh. <laughs> as soon as you said I'm like a genie, my brain was like, ah, what what happens if you rub your shovel? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I'm way too proud of myself for that joke. pickaxe to get that stone okay so pickaxe I'm literally going I'm going away from where I have a couple pickaxes because I'm an idiot I want to, I think I do want to try and make this look very obvious that this has been built. So, oh, Let's pick up that pickaxe. Oops. 
Where the hell did I put it? There it is. The sound of your uncle talking about how this could be his team year again. The smiling faces you love. No, 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 no. The fizz, the refreshment. Savor every moment. Coca Cola. I'm gonna have to build some sort of a uh, mini tunnel through through this whenever I'm done. Because I really do like the more I think about it, the more I'm like, all right, the cutoff point I think I'm gonna have it be like over here ish a little bit. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a cave in here. So maybe I'll have a route. To here, at the very least. I don't want to cut too close to the waterfall. Make it look a little bit more natural. This might completely change the damn water. I completely change the damn water flow now that I've done that. Well, there's another way to break fall, too. You could, uh, if you do it quick enough, you could do it with a boat. Like, if you place the boat, like, if you just repeatedly press the, uh, enter key, you can fall from any height as long as you hit it quick enough. Pretty cool. The first couple times you do it, it's scary as fuck, though. Because a water bucket is just like, place the water bucket, right? 
For the boat trick, it's place the boat, then enter the boat. The boat is all, like, it's terrifying to do it, though. The reason I like the boat trick, though, is because I don't know if the water trick actually works in the nether. The boat trick, I'm pretty sure, does. Well, uh, yeah, it does. As long as you don't land in lava. That kind of should go without saying. Liquid hot magma. It's all good. Yes, I am playing the cycle tonight, Redneck. Also, greetings and good day. How are you today? I'm probably going to play this for another hour and then switch over to the cycle. I'm just like chilling for a little bit because it didn't work today. But I didn't mow my lawn and weed eat. So I was kind of like, I'm just going to chill for a little bit. I started today's stream by doing uh, artwork stuff, basically. Hey, 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 hell yeah. You jealous of the uh, drill counters? Were you, you were, did you hear about that? Me and Numoic countering a drill? Unfortunately, Numoic, yeah. No, 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 no. Da, da, da. Umoic got ganked by the group that was waiting for us to drop down. They waited till we were basically in the middle of the open, and they started opening fire with their Vaultic Brutes. Oh, well, good news for you. I've crafted a drill, and, and I crafted oils. I'm also willing to do crushers. Yeah, we're at that stage where, like, we want to do the end game shit. The crushers, the... I, I, I understand completely what you're talking about, you know what I mean? I'm in that same boat. I need one more crusher hide and a bit more smart mesh, and then I could do my uh, quarters upgrade. Three more flesh. Maybe we'll get lucky. And uh, they'll drop the full suite again. A head, the flesh, and two hide. Oh, I did a uh, solo Theris run the other day. I actually got a another blue shield upgraded to Epic. I also got a Gorgon. Somebody with a Gorgon tried to sneak on me. And they like lasered the wall before they even actually like were out and i just phoom, deleted them with my brute i heard them first i'm like wait what because they made the sound like the you know the crouch walk sound makes i'm like that's not me i had a pkr earlier i killed somebody with a gray set and i was uh showing that there's a glitch in the game where anything that has an outline so like if you are looking at a garbage bin and it has that outline you could literally use the outline to see where somebody's going like it allows you to see through the wall which needs to get fixed as soon as possible because i could literally use you to see where people are like if, if you stood still and i moved around a little bit and i saw somebody move i could tell you if somebody is i don't know how that's a thing why need the why why utilize the esp helmet when you could just, you know, use the naturally occurring ESP. You did get to see my little mistake I made. Yeah. I've seen a couple people that were would play Lid a lot. Like, a couple of the people that... I followed during that era, the lid era, are now playing Deathverse. And I'm just like, honestly, here's the sad part. If Deathverse never came out, I would still probably be playing lid. But Deathverse came out and it really highlighted 
Let it die. Let it die. It's basically... It's basically a free-to-play Dark Souls. I don't really like calling it that because when you really start breaking it down, it's got like two similarities to Dark Souls out of a hundred. But the easiest thing for people to understand, like with the Psycho Frontier, it's basically Escape from Tarkov Light. You immediately understand what the basic gameplay loop of the game is going to be at that point. Well, the reason I did that, I did that, that like a uh, trial for Let It Die was because of when they, when they were talking of like, it's all that like basically poor business practices with the lack of better words to use regarding Deathverse. It was like, not only are they not learning from Let It Die, they're doing what they always do, using our, our feedback to either make the situation we're complaining about worse or not or making jokes about it the fucking best part the best part is the community are like oh that's so awesome that they could make jokes and laugh you dumb fuck they are making jokes and laughing at your expense exactly exactly that's what it that's what it feels like it feels like a pure cash grab and the more that I played Let It Die, the more that I realized that's what that game is primarily because of how the the, the fucking horsemen, their DM sinks, right? Uh, the way they have Tengoku set up with those fucking garbage bins. What are those asshole things called? Mmm, yummy. Those fucking things. Oh, you gotta pay, what is it, uh, uh, the Dustin, yeah. Or like, fuck Ben. Anyways, uh, if they had, like, if the Dustin was free, like, if you could get a Dustin on every single floor, but it was free on, like, the end of the boss floor, or the, uh, Screamer pin, or not pin pit the screamer pit i'd be a lot more like okay with it yeah exactly five to ten floors that'd be that'd be fine but no that would be too nice the reason that it's kind of another funny reason that i like the cycle frontier so much is because it's free to play thing not gimmick but i'm gonna use this because i don't know a better word to use but the free to play gimmick for the cycle frontier is one of the kindest free-to-play gimmicks I've experienced. And then you have, like, Let It Die, where it feels less like free-to-play and more like pay-to-play. Which is worse than a flat $60 game, because pay-to-play means you can play it, but if you really want to be able to progress... Pop up some money. At least that's how it felt. Right? That's how it felt to me. And, the, and it felt more and more like that the more and more that I played. No, I can understand where you're coming from, too. Because some of the jackasses... Like... If you want an online game to play that's going to replace your Let It Die, The Cycle Frontier is probably not that game. That's probably going to be a crossover of Dead by Daylight in some situations and Let It Die, which sounds like a fucking horrible bastard of a child at that point. Could you imagine? Oh my god. I still think the idea of the Tower of Barbs, the climbing like that, is such a, like, it could be so good. Like, if you implemented that for something like a Resident Evil or something like The Hive, I talked about this before, but that would be such an amazing concept for a free-to-play game. Exactly. And I'm, and I'm trying my damnedest to make sure you don't relapse as well for that, because that... 
That game is just... Is there a, is there a killer that can I'm not there is there a killer that can use a rifle in that game? That is uniquely distinctive. A new seduction that is charismatic. Because I either either I had a dream about a dead by daylight killer. Or I mean How do how do how does my little made up song go? There's, I can't remember exactly how it went, but. Ah, okay. I think I had some weird, like I was watching, like I had YouTube playing on my tablet while I was like sleeping. And I think I was starting to wake up or something like that. Because I had some weird fucking dream. I blame you for this wholeheartedly. There's no one else I can come to mind that plays this fucking game or played that game. But I had this weird dream where there was like, it was a crossover between that dude, but the rifle they used was like a single shot musket rifle. So instead of like the chain, it would just, it was a one time use weapon. And if you hit somebody, no matter what, it just instantly killed them. And you could only use it one time. There were no reloads. There was no whatever. That that was the dream that I had. I don't know why, but for some reason I was playing the game as the killer, and that was the dream that I had. And it was like, you ever I fucking hate dreams like that where like it's a dream where you're doing like playing a game because it's from the per first person perspective, but there's like the fucking HUD, right? So it's like, what, like, like, you know, you're, it's just weird. I don't know how to explain it. But that was like what I had last night. So I think my YouTube thing played a video from somebody, probably Ox or whatever. And they played that killer or something. And the only reason the video would be playing from him is because somebody had to recommend him for DVD stuff. What really sucks, I'm thinking about, but what really sucks about when you like stop playing a game, sometimes, sometimes, you can no longer like watch content for that game, right? Cause like, I'm not worried. I could sit down and watch somebody play Let It Die cause I'm gonna watch somebody play Let It Die whenever they uh, thread through Tengoku. But, uh, yeah, I'm not worried that that's going to give me an itch to play it again, but like, but like, I can understand how some people will have to cold turkey quit watching any type of content for a game to not be able to play it anymore. And that kind of sucks when you've invented a video game that somebody finds that negative. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd be tempted. I'd be tempted, but I'd be like, nah. Nah. Because I would start to feel tempted, and as soon as I'd get the itch to play, I'd play Dark Souls. And I'd be like, oh yeah, that's right. Let It Die is actually worse than Dark Souls. Imagine that. Imagine saying something's worse than Dark Souls. Wow. Wow. What a... What a hell of a game you have to invent to be worse as dar than Dark Souls. And, like, I'll be honest, as the Elden Ring is probably the fucking best example of... What's the word I'm looking for? Elden Ring is probably the best example of uh, a Souls-like game or whatever that doesn't have that many mechanic issues, right? Yeah. Of the Souls game, yeah, of the Souls games, that one is like... Honestly, it's still a coin toss between Elden Ring and Bloodborne. I have to play Blood Bloodborne again, but here's the funny part. I actually think Elden Ring beats Bloodborne. You want to know why? 
Guess what I could play on my PC and what I can't play on my PC. If they put Bloodborne on PC, it might beat Elden Ring at that point. But until they do that, Elden Ring is my favorite of the... Uh... The Souls. Arc 2? Oh god. I hope not. I really hope not. Like, I... I, I like Ark, right? I like Ark Survival Evolved. I'm gonna make sure I say that because I... There's a game named Ark. And there's Ark Survival Evolved, which is with the dinosaurs and the building and the stuff like that. Uh... But yeah, I hope not, man. Yeah, I mean... Isn't that where the Stubborn Command came into existence from my playthrough of, of Elden Ring? Because I'm, I'm not good at those types of games. I am not. I'll be straight up. I am not good with those types of games. And... Did you play Elden Ring? Uh, Redneck? Or did you watch a playthrough or, or anything like that? That, that... That was the first time I ever worked to make a GIF, and it works really well. Okay. So, I can talk about this game without... Spoiling it for you. Alright. Uh, disclaimer, for those of you that are watching on YouTube at the Twitch highlight, I'm going to start spoiling about Elden Ring. Headphones off and all that if you don't want to get spoiled. When I give you all the thumbs up, you can put headphones back on the thumbs up not right now but when i do this i'll be done talking about spoilers for elden ring uh same for chat right yeah so long story short i am very stubborn when it comes to games like that because i know i played through dark souls and i learned the miyazaki fucking experience right like i know exactly what type of game it's gonna be when it comes out from that studio, from Soft, right? For the most part. Oh, oh, I gotta talk about uh, 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 um, Armored Core later. Remind me. Anyways, what ends up happening is I come across a optional fight. There's these things in Elden Ring called Jails, G-A-O-L, right? And you basically enter the jail and then fight a... A, a boss, right? You fight a boss. The first one I ever entered, I fought something called the Crucible Knight. I spent about six hours on that fight. I then proceeded to make story progress. That story progress was making to a boss called Margit. I spent eight hours on Margit. And I do not regret a single hour. Because it was so satisfying when I finally beat that boss. Oh yeah, that. That was that was a 26 and a half hour stream, by the way, that ended a few minutes after that. Because Literally, the only thing that kept me going was the Crucible Knight fight and the Margit fight. Because there was even times during the Margit fight that I was starting to head nod, doze out. And I'm like, that's that's kind of... I'm starting to starting to tiptoe, tiptoe the Twitch toss. Want to be careful about that one. Can't be passing out on stream. I'll get banned. Man, that was such a fucking adrenaline rush. Oh, um... I finally kind of figured out exactly what I'm going to be doing. Uh, how far back am I going to go? Probably right about here. 
So, like I said, I kind of wrote down that information revolving around uh, my plans for the next game. So, in between, like after I play Prey, I'm probably going to uh, XCOM. I'm probably going to play through XCOM 2 again. And the best part about that is we get to get, if you want yourself a character, we get to get you and Redneck some custom characters for our red, uh, our, uh, our playthroughs, our XCOM playthrough. Oh, Yuri, Yuri is probably definitely going to pop by. A lot of, a lot of people are going to pop by. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. You're going to have Jazz Lorenko is going to stop by. I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, War Dog and Grant end up stopping by. We're definitely going to get, like, Mr. Cloista and a couple of the people from the modding community. Because there's a lot of mods that I use from these individuals, and the community for XCOM is, like, surprisingly wholesome. Yeah, yeah, a few of them got a little, a little, a little spoilery. The next time that I do a MGS playthrough, which is it's probably not going to be next anniversary stream, it's probably going to be... A year or so after that, maybe. It will be ch it will be spoiler playthrough. The first playthrough was a, a clean playthrough for people that might be new to the series. The playthrough after that is going to be we're going to be gushing about every little fucking secret and thing like that. So, yeah, the mass like ninety five percent of the individual. I was surprised. I was very surprised. Ninety five percent of the individuals that showed up were like good for the spoilers like they didn't spoil i did have some come someone come by earlier today and talk about how they had information from god of war the new one and i was like yeah thanks for that information but i don't i don't i'm trying to stay away from like it's gonna i'm gonna wait for the game to come out on pc you know how fucking hard it is gonna be for me not to watch any playthroughs of that game I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be able to do it. Or to be spoiled. I'm gonna have to not like Twitter. I'm gonna have to fucking shy away from Twitter for like a couple of months, if not longer. But yeah, what, uh, did you ever try? I'm kind of curious about what exactly for the combat. Is it the, the iframes? Is it the, like, the back and forth? And what Dark Souls games have you tested out or played? Like, because I'm thinking about it. And even for people that might not be fans of... Yeah. Even for people that might not be fans of Dark Souls, Elden Ring might... Again, I'm not saying go out and buy Elden Ring, of course, for a game that you might not like, but of the games of that type, Elden Ring's the most forgiving, in all honesty. Oh no, I, I already, I already, we already had a big conversation about that. It was a combination of uh, not only the gameplay, but the jackasses that were like. Oh, the, the fucking elitists. The stupid fucking Dark Souls elitist. I hate when people are like that. It's like... It's it's you. It's in your experience that you have this. For other people, it's not the same exact thing because we treat video games differently, right? Like, some of us don't just, like... Fucking for the first time ever come across Margit and then, like, Oh, I've already downloaded their fucking patterns. I, I am... I am the spoon. Let me bend every fucking attack to my will and then fucking one shot Margit. It's like some people are like me. We're fucking idiots and we'll do the same thing 20 times in a row until we, we realize, oh wait, it's like a dance. Do this. 
that's one thing that's quick to set me off when somebody comes by and like if i'm struggling with a part or something like that like if i'm doing a puzzle if i'm doing a puzzle i i i, I don't care if people talk about how to do the puzzle but i won't look at chat for a little while right like i'll keep complete eyes off chat while i'm doing a puzzle and uh, I'll even be like, I'm in focus mode. Give me a few moments. I'll, I'll look at chat if I still can't get this in like 10 minutes or so. And then I'll get it, right? And I like to think I'm pretty good at puzzles, right? But I know there are... This has happened a couple of times where there have been people that have either figured out the puzzle before me who've never played the game or people who have played the game and are trying to tell me the solution to the puzzle. And I refuse to look at chat because sometimes I've come across situations where I've did something or done something in such a way where the person was like, wait, you completed the puzzle that way? I have a I have a thing with it, a mental rule where it's like if I get stuck on a puzzle for 10 to 15 minutes, I'll either step away to come back at it later or I'll be like, "All right, cat, tell me how to do it. I'm not going to sit here for however long and and not like I have a 10 to 15 minute mental rule. Like if I realize, "Okay, I still haven't gotten it. Somebody tell me how to do this cuz I'm I I can't be asked right now. I cannot be arsed." I can't be arsed to do this. I just can't do it, Cotton. I can't do it. But yeah, you're free. You're free to steal that idea. Greetings and good day, Zon Keith. How are you today? I will be playing the cycle in about 30 minutes from now. I'll be switching over to the cycle, if that's what you're about ready to ask. True, true. I, I, I do, like, for me, it's one of those things where the more that I tr fail at a boss in a Souls-like, the more I learn the patterns and the more that, like, I just, you just get things down, you know? I will say, I think that Elden Ring's New Game Plus was probably one of the, the weaker New Game Pluses from a Souls-like. So the next time that I play Elden Ring, which I am going to play Elden Ring again at some point, it's going to be a uh, a fresh start. Oh, oof. Well, in 30 minutes, me and Redneck and... Probably you will be doing trios, I assume. Because I'm 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 good to go for a while. Probably till at least 3 a.m. like last time. Yeah, I was about 10-15 minutes late today. I was kind of just zoning out a bit. Uh, well, we're almost... I'm going to have to do the other side, too. That's the, the, the crappy part. I'm going to have to do the other side here. Probably up to... Where's the water coming at? Right here. True. Well, I was talking about mechanics of, like, this is weird. I don't consider conversations about mechanics to be spoilery. They could, they could definitely be classified as that, though. Like, right here, I think, is what I want. But I think discussing mechanics of a game is all right.
And there are certain games that technically can't really be spoiled. I mean, I'm sure in some some world, somebody got pissed off because somebody spoiled something for Minecraft, right? And I'm not talking about Minecraft story mode. I'm talking about the Minecraft that I'm currently playing. Uh, or whatever the hell. You know what I mean? I guarantee you someone out there has gotten pissed off because somebody said something about this game. For me, this is not a game that can be spoiled. You know what I mean? I want to be careful doing this. Ow. And here's the best part about it nowadays. You don't even have to know how to craft shit. You can literally just type stuff in here, right? Like, and it will tell you how to craft things you know like they, they added a fucking in-game encyclopedia of how to do that and that's awesome oh there's been a lot of changes since then when i stopped play like before i started doing the kingdom build when I stopped playing this game, the end dragon was something that they had only recently added. You know what I mean? Like, the last thing I did before I stopped playing for a long time was defeat the end. Now they've added so much, so much shit to this game, it's insane. Oh yeah, the speed runs, the end. Oh, speaking of speed runs... Next weekend, I might watch a couple of speedruns. I know I've said this in the past, but I may want I may watch a couple speedruns of Bioshock, maybe, on the weekend. Nice. I I love watching speedruns. I just I can't do it myself. I could I could sit down and play like speed run the game but i think it would make me like a video game less if i spe speed ran the game you know what i mean i mean you don't have to be the best at it to have a good time like it would be cool to get your name on the leaderboards right be number one even if only for a little while but for me the closest i ever came to speed running was playing god of war one and I don't do glitch. Like, if I ever did speedrunning, it would not It would be glitchless. I'd, I'd, like, play the game without glitches or anything like that, right? Uh, Just playing the game fast. And I almost beat God of War in, like... I got... What, where is the part? What is the part? There's a part where you have to save somebody in God of... So I to just talk about stuff. I'm gonna shut up now, though. Because I, I... See how easy it is to start to talk about spoiler-type stuff? Your brain's like, yeah, this should be fine, and then your mouth starts to move, and you're like, no, no, abort, abort, abort. Anyways, moving on. Yeah, that's the problem. I'm a story player, right? When I play a game, if the mechanics are ass, but the story is good, I'll, I'll, I'll be like, all right, whatever, right? Like, I've played some games with some mechanics that are horrendous. 
and the story's been enough to keep me playing, right? Hell, I've had a situation, like, real talk. The main reason I actually kept playing and played through the entirety of the Master Chief collection was because everything was just good enough to keep me playing, right? Like, I did- the mechanics were frustrating to me, some of the fights were complete and utter bullshit to me, the story had a lot of inconsistencies to me, but it was just enough to keep me playing. And if I ever had a moment where I could get games in the future for like really cheap or free, I'll definitely get them for free. I'll get any game for free just to try it out. Uh, But yeah. Well, for me, I play... Okay, I played through the Master Chief Collection. And in the Master Chief Collection, the way they do it is they do it in order of the game's appearance, right? So it goes... Not, not like the, the order of release, but the way that it's supposed to go in the timeline. So it goes with Reach, Combat Evolved, 2, uh, 3, the other 3 game, and then 4, I believe, right? Yeah. Uh... Anyways, I played through those and Reach and hilariously enough, the fourth game were some of my favorite, not games, but I had some of my favorite experiences while playing those games through those games, right? Like, without spoiling anything, the ending sequence before, and it was more just me playing the game better than I had ever before that point, right? But I felt like such a badass, right? And that was like one of my favorite moments from playing that series. But in the future, if I ever like, if somebody's gonna gift me the rest of the series or I'm gonna get it for free or it's gonna be for cheap, I'll possibly get it and continue playing it but that is not a game that i will go out of my way to get right like when they come out with halo 67 and it's going to be a 60 dollars game i'll be sitting here going yep that's nice i don't really care though because it was enough to keep me playing not enough to want me to f go for more you know oh that i i might go for it too at some point in the future but it's like i'm very biased when it comes to the metal gear games right because oh i never did my thumbs up by the way whoops I'm very biased when it comes to the Metal Gear games because it was through Metal Gear Solid 1 that I, like, learned what a game could be, right? Oh, I was working on the Derpy moat later, uh, uh, earlier today. I think I made some pretty good progress. I'll have to show y'all when I switch over to the cycle. We got we got 15 minutes. Probably one more in-game day. Maybe two in-game days, depending on how things pan out. Anyways, um... <laughs> because when I was... When I was a young warthog... When I was a young... Young lad... Uh, playing games, I always used to only play them and I wouldn't really pay attention to the story. Not even Grand Theft Auto 3 Vice City or 
San Andreas, right? I just played the game. Uh, but it was like my first playthrough of Metal Gear Solid. I might be mistaken about San Andreas now that I think about it. I can't remember, like, it's been so damn long. Probably Vice City. It was probably Vice City where I started to play the game and learn, listen to the story of the game and figure out what was going on. Speaking of Vice City, I will have to finish that playthrough. I never did finish Vice City on stream. Anyways. Playing through that game and get, like, I think I was almost to the end of Metal Gear. Like, yeah, I was literally a fight. No, oh, two fights. Two fights from the end. And a story event happened that had me going, wait, 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 wait. Because I was barely paying, like, every once in a while I'd pay attention. Right? I'd pay attention to a cutscene and, like, be like, eh, that's pretty interesting. And then when that happened, I was like, I gotta restart the entire game and play it from the beginning. And then I learned that a game could be more than just press button, explosion, yay. You know what's really a problem is when you have a mental debate with yourself as you take a glance at something and you go, should I leave this as dirt or should I put stone there? And I'm leaning towards put stone here to make it look like this has been ca carved into the, like this has been carved out. You know what I mean? Like there's a part of me that wants to do that. It's so much stone though. Wait, do I have a silk touch? Do I have a silk touch pickaxe? Please tell me I have a Silk Touch pickaxe. That would be so, that would, that would help so, so much. We'll have to, we'll have to, we'll have to take a little bit of a gander later down the line and figure it out. Uh, no silk touch. Do I have silk touch? Oh God. Sweeping edge. Seriously? How do I not have Silk Touch? I really don't have Silk Touch. Do one of these people have Silk Touch? I don't want to get. That's annoying. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed right now. Screw it. I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to be lazy and say screw it. And just worst case scenario, I could just get enough coal or enough charcoal to turn the cobblestone into stone. I have enough cobblestone to supply a fucking army. And I could get more. I'll deal with that later. I'm not gonna... 
get too distracted because look at that look at it i don't know how much farther back this is gonna go if at all uh i also need to actually finish planting the rest of this if i can Perfect, it doesn't fall off the edges, it looks like. Gotcha. If I, thank you for reminding me because I already forgot. An orange colored sweater with a pair of glasses. That's what that's That's what I just pictured when you said that. I don't know why I pictured Velma when you said secretary. But I pictured Velma when you said secretary. And uh I Jinkies, you know what I mean? Is it four? It's what rule of the internet is it? Forty-three, or is it the? No. There's one for female characters to male characters, and there's one for male characters to female characters. That's the fucking not that. Um, that's that's the rule about if it exists, there will be. No, there's other rules. There's 63 and 43. One of them, I think 63, is the one where if a character is male, it will be turned into a female on the internet. And the other one is if it's a male, if it's a female character, it can be turned into a male, right? So I was going to say it's one of those rule. It's one of those versions of it, right? I'm not making this up. I know I'm not making this up. It's a rule of the internet. I've looked up these rules before. Rule 63. Got it. That's that's the 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 other one. There's the uh, the one for female to male though, because you could still just like would a female version of Fred be hot? What about a female version of Shaggy?
appreciate all your favorite artists ad free i kept a straight face for so long then all you need to do <laughs> is the banner now for your chance to win all right one more end game day i mean They could swallow a lot of meat. Oh my god. Oh. Ooh, that's funny. Gotcha. Well, I'm kind of proud of myself because I've been like thinking to myself about being a little bit quicker on the comebacks or the, uh, the jokes. And I think I'm doing a fantastic job of being quick-witted. Or at least not being as hesitant when it comes to just saying the first thing that comes to mind when somebody says something or I say something and like I said I'm setting up I'm setting up the T and I'm getting a hole in one and I'm proud of that. Because that joke was reliant on basically what you said because there's no way i would have come up with that joke without that that back play whatever the hell it's called what is it called springboard backboard sports terminology god damn it I'm not really big on sports i don't watch a lot of sports i watch a little bit of football i'm more into sports video games than i am into the actual sport I mean, I can sit down and watch golf, which I think is, like, I'm actually getting more and more into golf the older I get. I don't know what that says about me or what that says about growing older and liking golf. What I do know... What I do know is, uh... I'm starting to realize how impressive it is when some of these people make some of the shots they make when they play golf. So I'm getting more and more interested in actually watching golf. But I watch a little bit of football here and there. Very rarely, though. Yeah. I think a lot of my reactionary type humor has been me being hesitant with what I say. But uh, I had some jackass, I can't remember who it was, but some jackass had to uh, make a comment that was basically like, ah, I see how it is. Pretty much after the, the commentary about the shark girls, the floodgates were opened. And no, not those floodgates, the metaphorical floodgates. Get your head out of the gutter. Yep. So the next time our character goes to sleep, I'm going to start the, the I'm doing the ending spiel for the cycle. And then we are going I mean I'm doing the ending spiel for Minecraft, and then we are gonna switch over to the cycle. I will say I'm actually really liking how this is like in my head mentally how it's going to come along because I like the idea. I might take some of this edge off and make it like dock like 
So it looks like the dock already starts, you know? Oh, God. I immediately imagine, picture that whole scene, right? Why me? Exactly, exactly what was playing through my head. Yeah, I am really liking how this is going to come along because for the life of me, I couldn't figure out how exactly things were going to work. I need to fill that in a little bit, maybe. Or we could just leave it like that. That's not a big deal. Basically, I'm doing my job at that point. Main reason I do this is if someone's in a shit mood or they're stressed out, hopefully they can come into my stream and alleviate some of that stress or frustration or what have you. So that makes me feel good when it actually I'm actually doing that for somebody. You know what's really amazing? I'm thinking about the amount of mods PC games get. And like... I'm, I'm actually being serious when I say this. It is mind-boggling to me the amount of NSFW mods that exist for every single game that's on PC. I like, I don't get it. It makes, like, no sense to me how people could come up with... A mod that's NSFW for a game like Minecraft, but people somehow manage to do that. It boggles my mind. So I'm probably gonna have to do like a little archway or something like that. I might, I might have to, here's, I don't know. I'm probably gonna end up turning this into stone because I'm thinking about it. Or maybe the first layer. I'm not gonna like cut out the entire layer, right? Like I'll put a thing of stone there, maybe. Because I wanna have a couple, like a house over here and maybe a house over here, mind you. With the way that I set this stuff up is it's probably going to be a village is technically going to be over there and a village is technically going to be over here but they're going to be close enough together to where they could mingle with one another oh damn uh you of course don't have to say if you don't want to but What's the most you've ever made off of uh, a skin? You got me curious now because that's kind of crazy. Also, what is that standalone looter shooter from uh, Call of Duty? Because that's something that I might be willing to check out. I thought it was a, a, a part of the game itself. But if it's a standalone, I might have to... I might be tempted to take a gander at it. Damn. 
Well, yeah, of course. That's how that ends up happening. Man, I remember back in the day on Twitch when, like, somebody would open a hundred boxes or something like that or, or whatever it was for CSGO and, like, their viewership would skyrocket because... Oh, shit! But, yeah, the viewership would skyrocket because of the fact that, like, they're doing a skin opening or whatever. Or case openings, that's what they're called. Case openings. I just remembered when I was talking about that. I, in Apex Legends, I was, like, saving up all of my packs. All my, like, free, free, uh, things that I got. And I was planning on, at the end of the year, opening them up. I might have to re-download Apex Legends just to do the Apex box opening. Damn, nice. Hi, this is Tom George, director of Searchlight Pictures to see how they run. Heirloom Hunt? Well, here's the thing. I'm thinking about it, and I might... I might see if the Apex Legends will actually work if I, if I play it again. Here's what I'll do. Wednesday. Because, hold on, I'm going to turn these ads off for a second. So, Monday I'm going to play Minecraft for a couple of hours, then switch to the Cycle Frontier, I think. Tuesday I'm going to do the Bioshock Infinite DLC, the Cycle. Wednesday I'm probably going to start Apex and see if it's going to crash my PC like it has been. Hopefully they fix whatever fucking glitch was occurring. But everything I tried, that bullshit, oh, make sure your, your your drivers are up to date. They were up to date. Uh, checking, the verif verifying the files, uninstalling and reinstalling. I did it both on my hard drive and my SSD. And the game would crash, and it would crash my PC. So, Wednesday, I'm going to try Apex Legends again and see if it works. If it does, well... I might get back into Apex Legends a little bit because I, I I like the game. As long as it's a standalone game, hopefully free to play, I will check it out. If it's if it's not standalone, probably not gonna check it out. Anyways. Anyways. You don't believe it's standalone or free to play? That sucks. If that's the case, or is it uh uh? It's one hundred percent free to play. Okay, that's fine. I have no idea. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Let me do my ending spiel for this game, and then we will start switching over to the cycle. And I would be willing to start right off the rip in trios, trios, if that's what we're up for. Also, in the future, I'm gonna have to do a uh, a what should we call it? I'm gonna have to to edit my sub badges a little bit because I think the 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 first tier is good. The second tier starts to you start to like not really tell what it is but i do like the sub badge being a shield i'm distracted i'll end i'll end for it in a minute bear with me Warzone 2 new mode dmz new sandbox experience extraction mode okay hold on i gotta i gotta go through some of these comments I'm not gonna I'm not going to show this on stream. I mean it doesn't really matter, but I'm not going to. One person tweeted in response a mid game mode. Somebody responded to them mid life. That's interesting. Uh another person wonder 
but instead of N, it's M. So Wamder, Wamder, if it will bomb like BF 2042's mode did. Well, Council didn't have a Tarkov like game, so maybe not. We'll see. I hope I can run it well as well. So, another person, Tarkov better. And in response, laughing my fucking ass off, screenshot it, but Tarkov dies if COD's version does good. No, it fucking won't. I don't, I hate when people say shit like that, because here's the thing. You're gonna have people that no matter what will call DMZ dog shit and Tarkov the best game in the world and Tarkov dog shit and DMZ the best game in the world. And guess what the funniest part is? Neither person who's saying the other game mode's bad has played the other game mode because people are so fucking like idiotic and entitled and like my I it's better because this is the game that I play so it's better because I play it and it's like it's all a matter of perspective you ignoramus <clears throat> anyways uh for those of you that are watching on YouTube and the Twitch highlight watch that is going to be it for me for the time being so if you're new here and you haven't already be sure to become a citizen today via subscribing to this channel as well as my main channel links will be down in the description below through all my links and streamer links if you're watching on youtube exclamation point links like so if you're watching the twitch highlight uh it is through those links that you can catch me on all of my associated sites be it the aforementioned YouTube and Twitch. Be sure to follow me on Twitch and catch me when I go live at 6 p.m. EST EDT every single day, at least for the year of 2022, for I'm doing a one-year challenge where I go live for at least an hour every single day for this year. Uh, there's an invite link to the community Discord you can use to get the most accurate notifications of whenever I do go live, if I'm going to be a little bit late or early to a stream outside of like a half hour or so and whatever else catches your fancy with all that said and done that is going to be it for me for the time being for you youtube and twitch highlight watchers so until next time take care and have a good one bye bye